Rahman Rahim, Assalamu Alaikum and greetings, Alishan Mal here and welcome to very first vlog of DIY electric surfboard build. In this video we are going to talk about the plans, the plans that I have to build uh, the DIY electric surfboards and I will make sure to take you all along with me on each and in each and every episode and show you my progress of DIY electric surfboard builds. So the first thing is let me show you what we have set here. This garage, big and nice, less big USA mosquitoes. Yes, USA what? mosquito. The story is in this video coming your way. So watch for that. What is the USA mosquito? And uh, in this garage, we'll be able to build surfboards, mini boats, mini jet ski for kids. Would you love to ride? and drive your own jet ski, right? Yeah, so we'll be able to do all this. So let's talk about plans. Let me show you what I have here. Before we continue, I would like to say, this is my very, very first try. I am I have no idea or any sort of experience in doing epoxy and fiberglassing on surfboards or building surfboards in the first place. So I'll be building a surfboard all by myself, shaping, shaping it, uh, putting epoxy and fiberglassing it. So I have no experience and I would like to say if there are my followers, fans who are experienced in surfboard builds using epoxies and fiberglassing, using the fiberglass clothes on surfboards, Please, I would really appreciate any good advice that you can give me time by time. Remember to put it in the video comments anytime you want. I and my, mashallah, beloved kids together, we built these wood horses uh, using scrap wood, very, very quick, which came out of the table that I built before. And I've got this XPS foam. I've got more XPS foam. And I've got a three sheets plywood. Now, I will tell you why I got that, but before that, let me show you. I've got a couple of epoxies as well. So I have this 650. I mean, I have no idea what brand is this epoxy, so I'm calling it no name epoxy, but it's very good. Then I have got 331 epoxy, which loves eating foam. And then I got this El Stinko epoxy which is very stinky and loves eating the foam. Then I've got here um, something I have no idea. Again, it's ratio one or three to one ratio mixing epoxy. I bought it for DIY woodworking some projects, but it does work. My idea is to build two different surfboats in the beginning, take it as a practice. I've got all the electric equipment for those so number one the surfboard is going to be with foam number two the surfboard board is going to be with the plywood so we can test two different types of epoxies epoxies that eat uh, foam we're going to use it on plywood for fiberglassing for putting the fiberglass clothes on that and the epoxy that is friends with surfboard i mean sorry uh, foam boards We'll use it on the foam. So we will, we're going to build two different surfboards. And then once they are done, we will be putting on electric systems on them so that we can ride them in the water. Now, once again, experienced people out there, I would really, really welcome any advice and tips you have. Please put it down in the video comments. Now, the fiberglass clothes that I've got. This one is very nice, nice and soft and fine weave and then I've got a very very fine weave very fine fine weave which I'm thinking I'll put it as a uh, last layer to make it nice and smooth surface on the surfboard and this one can be one or two layers on the surfboard to make it harder and stronger then we have this El Cheapo very cheap fiberglass which should be uh, used on uh, plywood I believe so I've got this and I've got more here El Cheapo and hard one fiberglass for plywood so I have been experimenting let me show you some experiments I did with epoxy on foam and of course again advice is always welcome now right here as you can see I used fine weave clothes 
with the different types of epoxies on the foam as a practice, and it turned out to be really nice addition and a very nice result. However, if I press it, I feel I can still press it down. It's not hard. It does press down on the surfboard. This was a, a, a try to test different epoxies, the one that eat it, eat the foam, and one that don't eat the foam. Now this is another epoxy, which is really thick, but did a nice job sticking the fiberglass cloth on, and I feel that this one is harder than this one. Still I can press it down, but it's a bit harder. And then we have this El Chipo harder or thicker uh, fiberglass cloth, and after putting it with epoxy, it is hard and it is difficult to push in. So I'm not able to push the foam in the way I can do here. So this is going to make very strong bond and make the surfboard strong. And after that, I can do these fine clothes on top of it. So it will be nice. And obviously on the wood or um, a plywood, you know, the harder one does a very good job. Har harder fiberglass cloth with the L Stinko epoxy or, or foam eating epoxy, it does a very, very good job. Look at my arm. It's burning here and little, little places kind of swelling up. This mosquito is crazy. When it bites, it bites in a, at a couple of places and leaves you rashing really badly. You know what? In my kids' school, the news is going on that this, this big, this new, about this big mosquito is actually came from USA. What? I mean, really, did, I, did it fly all the way from USA to China so it can bite people here and make them rash or <laughs> spread something new? <laughs> that, is, that is really funny. So this is a USA <laughs> big mosquito. If I find it, I'll show it to you, and it bites really bad. Ugh. I'm still rashing my arm. This is all I got. And if you have any more advice and tips to get more tools and stuff, please do let me know. For now, uh, for shredding the, you know, uh, foam, I have 3D printed one of my own design. I have also the uh, epoxy mixing on <laughs> drill, <laughs> epoxy mixer on the drill, so that we can mix the epoxy. And I can 3D print, design and 3D print more tools as well. But again, any type of tips, advice, and tricks are most welcome. Please put them in the video comments. Now, I think we are ready to start shaping our very first board. So let us get to work and you guys wait for our next vlog where you can see more of our progress. All right, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel by turning on all the notifications so you stay updated. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button.